I am Maggie Biggie, and I am a missionary with Campus Crusade for Christ, now known as GRU in Orlando. I am representing Revival Time Assembly in Trinidad, and I would like to thank my, our senior pastors, Lloyd and Norma Hart, for the opportunity to share this week's devotional with you, and say thank you to you as well for tuning in. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we could spend this time together in your word. I commit it to you and I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. In John 14, 31, Jesus said, I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. When Jesus walked this earth, he was in complete communion with the Father and in complete com obedience to him. He did the Father's will without wavering, and as the verse says, he did the Father's will because he loved the Father and wanted to show his love for the Father to the world. Jesus never deviated from his Father's will. And it was not always easy, but he did it. The thought of taking sin upon himself and the Father turning his face away from him was agony to Jesus. And he actually sweat drops of blood, but he did it. Why? Because he loved the Father. He has said to us in the same chapter, John 14, 15, very clearly, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Commandments here refer to his word. In today's culture, the word of God is no longer seen as absolute by many. But as the Lord's children, we cannot get caught up in the culture of the day and be disobedient to his word. God's word is absolute and is absolute truth and we need to obey every jot and tittle of it. I recently learned from one of my friends at RTA that a jot is a dot of the I and a tittle is the crossing of the T. And we actually use that, right? Friends, it is so easy to say that we love the Lord. But as James says, faith without works is dead. We need to show the Lord we love him by obedience to him as shown in his word, not by what is popular or what is culturally relevant. God's word is always relevant and deserves obedience. John 31 says, Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of the world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. What if Jesus had bent his father's will a little and said, Father, I'm having such a good time with the guys and they are learning so much. It's hard for me to leave right now. Look, Peter will deny me. Maybe if I stayed a little longer with them, Peter may not deny me then. Maybe now is not the time to go to the cross. I will go, but may I stay a little longer? No, he did what our father asked in the father's timing. How many times do we wish to defer our obedience to his word? Lord, you know I love you, but it ha does it have to be now? Does it have to be in this way? Yes, it does. If he's asking it of us because he deserves our obedience, it proves our love for him. The sacrifice he made shows his love for us and cannot be repaid and he's not asking us to and Jesus' obedience costs him a lot as well. Why should we not be willing to have it cost us something? My prayer is that we would love our Lord enough to be obedient to him and live true to his precious holy word without excuse. When he says no to something, it is actually to protect us and provide for us, and obedience for him is always for his glory and our good. My prayer is that we will show the world that we love our Lord by our obedience, just like Jesus did. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your precious word, where we can learn more about you, where we can learn to love you more, to trust you more, to obey you better, to serve you well. I pray, Lord, that we will become children in whom you are well pleased. Thank you so much, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you guys for sharing this week with me. And even though our devotionals for this week has come to an end, I just pray that you will continue strong in the Lord and in his word and keep bringing a smile to his face. Enjoy your day today and have a great weekend and God bless. Thanks.